Yeah, and we're starting the show, actually, to talk about some good news for once. Um, after more than a year in hospital, Kate Garraway's husband, Derek, has finally come home. Um, and Kate talked to Ben Shepherd and Ranveer Singh um, about that journey earlier on Good Morning Britain. When we came in the door, and, of course, that I, as we pulled up, because I, I was able to come home with him, I went into hospital to help come home, bring him home, uh, I could see two little faces of Darcy and Billy looking out the window, and then I could literally see Billy, they go, he's here! And they sort of ran out and ran forward, opened the door, and he immediately burst into tears, and there was sort of a lot of hugging, and got him inside, um, and, uh, yeah, he absolutely knew he was home. Well, how amazing is that? Ben Shepherd, who conducted the interview, friend and colleague of Kate's, joins us now. Um, phew, where do you begin? It's, do you know, Eamon, uh, it's lovely to see you both, by the way, and with such amazing news, all of us are still reeling a little bit. This happened very quickly for Kate. I mean, she's been talking about this for a long time, as she said to us. She didn't want to force any of the, the sort of physicians into letting him come home, but his recovery was stalling a little bit. He needed to come home, he needed that contact. And it suddenly happened, and these things gather a pace. So to have him at home, to hear Kate talk about it, our, all of us were beaming, and the reaction we had from our viewers, and I'm sure you've had similar from your viewers as well, it's just remarkable. It's, as Kate pointed out, and it's really, really important that we all understand this, this is the next page of a very big chapter, mm. and, the, and the journey is by no means over, but it's such an important step for her and for Bill and for Darcy and for Derek mm. to be at home. But also, he's the longest hospitalised patient diagnosed with COVID in the country. Yeah, and I think that... You know, I think back to when we spoke, when I spoke to Kate about it and she phoned me and said, oh, Derek's had to go into hospital. And I remember sitting down, I was having a tyre changed just on the Gold Hawk Road on the way home. And I was sitting there saying, and, just, and I, I, drive past the, I drive past the garage every day on the way home. And it reminds me of that moment. I was sitting on a wall talking to her saying, oh, it's going to be, I'm sure it'll be fine. Derek's not in bad shape. You know, he's got a lot going on. And then, and then to think the journey that they've all been on for him only just to have come home, and as you say, I mean, to be the, the sort of the patient that has been... I mean, it makes, as Kate keeps saying, he's a very unique case, the, mm -hmm. what he's been through, how it's affected him, what it's done to his body, the organ damage that he's faced, that actually the recovery is going to be pretty unique as well. He still needs 24-hour care. He's at home, she has a team of carers that are coming into the house to help, and they've all got to get used to it. She said it's like having a ward at home now because he needs so much equipment, but... Crucially, he is at home, so they can hug him and they can talk to him. And it was lovely, she was talking about Bill and Darcy being in the garden, and, and one of the things she did was adapt the house to put some big windows by the kitchen, and the kids were running around the garden, they took him to the window just so he could see the kids jumping around, mm. and that's what they've all missed. They've just missed being in each other's company. Listen, it's good news to start with, yeah. my friend. You're, you're going to be back. You're, we're going to talk more yes. about this, because maybe you've got, you know, uh, something you want to say to Ben about this, something you want to say about Kate, a story that you want to share about long COVID and uh, recovery. We're going to be here, and Ben's going to talk. In that brilliant way as well, she was very Kate. Just before she came to us, she threw her Not tea all over the floor. <laughs> so the whole, everything was immaculate behind her, but there was complete mess. You'll know, Eamon, what it's Listen, like working I, with her. I watched the, the interview. Everywhere. I was absolutely gripped. She is an extraordinary woman. Um, so much to talk about. Yes. But oh, actually, you were here today to talk about tipping point. I know. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. When, when we said, you know, come on, talk about the tipping point, we didn't know no, at that point that Derek was going to come home. So we, we'll mention that as well yeah. when okay. you come back later. OK. All right, we'll Ben, thank that. you.